What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the console launch of the High Isles chapter, which happened yesterday, June the 21st. Now, I did not get to play a lot yesterday. I got to play just a couple hours after I got off work. But now I'm off work for the next couple days after today. So I'm really looking forward to really digging into the High Isles chapter and trying to see, kind of seeing what everything is all about. But in this video, I really wanted to talk about everything included with the chapter in case you are on console and you're not quite sure if you're undecided whatever the case may be uh, about purchasing the chapter i kind of just want to go over everything that is included just so you know uh, maybe it will help you uh, kind of make a decision and maybe it'll make your decision a little bit easier whether you would like to purchase the chapter or not first of all there are two new companions that are included with the high isles chapter also a new trial uh, the dread sail reef also, several new sets that have been added into the game and a, cup, a couple of new furnishing items. When I say a couple, I mean 136 uh, new furnishing items. Also, some really cool uh, things if you like to have pre uh, provisioning stations and you know your woodworking stations and all those things in your home. You know, every couple uh, updates, we get some of those really cool, you know, almost collectible style kind of items that you get from, you know, digging up things uh, with scrying. And this time we have a uh, Druic provisioning station which looks really really neat so that has been added in that is one of the 136 pieces of furniture so if you're a housing fan there's a lot of furniture out there uh, for all the housing fans with the high isles chapter of course the new card game tales of tribute which i made a video about a few days ago talking about how a lot of people in the community really seem to enjoy it on the pc side of the game i'm really interested to see how the console community kind of reacts to uh, playing tales of tribute i played a little bit of tales of tribute last night pretty enjoyable Still not quite got all the uh, you know ins and outs kind of down yet, but it is a very uh, enjoyable game mode it seems, and it is pretty fun to be able to play ranked and against you know other players against your friends, guildmates. You know you can play against AI, but of course if you do play the ranked mode, you actually can see a leaderboard, which is a pretty cool thing if you're a big fan of Tales of Tribute. Also, we have several new mythic items. Uh, we have the left-hander Ages Belt, uh, Whispers. Mora's Whispers, excuse me, Oaken Soul Ring, the Sea Serpent's Coal, and Dover Rock Sabatons. Now, the one thing I know that all of you out there are probably trying to get right now is the Oaken Soul Ring, which a lot of people are, you know, been talking about since it was in the public test server. There are some several, there are several different uh, parts of that lead-wise that are kind of annoying. So, be prepared for a grind when it comes to that Oaken Soul Ring. I know a lot of you are probably trying to get a hold of it as quickly as possible. Because right now it seems to be pretty overpowered, in, at least in PvP. It may be, it may be also in PvE, but we have there's a lot of people in, in the community that have been talking about uh, how they really think it makes ganking way too easy in PvP. So we'll kind of have to wait and see. So I know a lot of people out there are you know trying to get it as quickly as possible before it gets nerfed. Because as we know, there's a lot of mythics in the game that are really good right when they first you know come out in game, and then after a couple weeks to a month. Some of them get toned back just a bit. So I know a lot of you out there will be farming for that Oaken Soul Ring. But don't forget, like I said, there's five total new mythic items. There, there may be some other ones that you kind of like. I think the Sea Serpent's Coil is a very interesting one as well. But that's kind of what's included with that High Isles chapter, of course, along with that story as, you know, the story part of the game that comes out. Also, around 20 to 30 hours is, is what Zoss kind of labels this as when it comes to like story content, and that's including side quests and things of that nature. But I think overall, it looks to be a very interesting, um, you know, kind of uh, kind of chapter this year. And of course, like I said, I kind of want to just talk about exactly what was all included with the console version. Of course, you know, or just the you know High Isles chapter itself. Now that it has launched on console, in case you're trying to decide if you still want to purchase it or not. Now, this is one of those chapters that is you, you're going to have to buy if you have ESO Plus. This will not be included in it. Everything else that is out for the Elder Scrolls over the last seven years will be included in ESO Plus, but this chapter will not. You will actually have to purchase this chapter. It will not be included with ESO Plus until next year, next June, when the new chapter comes out. Then the High Isles will be included with ESO Plus. So make sure, you know, if you're wanting to pick it up, go to, you know, PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, whatever the case may be, and go ahead and pick up the High Isles chapter. If you already have it, you've been playing, let me know what you think about it. If you're still kind of on the fence deciding, let me know, uh, you know, if you're looking f looking to get it or, you know, you can't really decide yet, whatever the case may be. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.